Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Today, I wanted to go over the 15 million downloads campaign, which is going to start uh, sometime after this video is released. Uh, it is not the one where you get the free SSR ticket, it's the one where Scotty comes back, so... <laughs> I'm going to talk about it, go over the things that go or that are going to be inside it, and give some thoughts and opinions about it. But yeah, that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me how what you're currently waiting for. Now that um, Saber Wars 2 is over, it's probably time to go back. Most people, I think, are going to be saving for Castoria, but that does not mean that by the end of the year there's not more big units coming. Obviously, Scotty is a big unit, even though I think some people would... Um, who would need a support caster would probably be better off <laughs> if they got patience waiting six months for Castoria. Um, but there is also a lot of other dudes going. But yeah. Anyway. And also subscribe to me if you want more video stuff. So, let's get into it. So here's the main info. The login bonus on day one, it's 10 silver apples. On day two, it is 10 golden. 10 EXP, 10 million QP on day four, on day five and six, it's two foes. Then on day seven, 10 tickets. And you have to log in for every single one of these. If you miss one of these days, you're basically screwed out of these 10 tickets. So make sure to do it. Uh, if you're doing a comeback login bonus, then you get basically these. It's very nice. So let me see. Um, one, two, four, seven, 17. I don't know why I did it like this. 22, 30. So basically enough for a full um, multi. Very nice, not bad. Uh, limited time campaigns. Two times great and super suck chance for servants and craft essence. Very, very, very needed. One half AP campaign. This is also gonna be very good because I wanna say that uh, just to be sure here. To check up on the old time time lists. Okay, go back two years. Yeah, this is the <laughs> this is the year where we skip Samba Quetz. It's gonna be dead. Absolutely dead. But let me see what you need for Christmas. I wanna say it's just Fuyuki, but it might not. Just Fuyuki, so not too bad. And then for December, that's when we're going to get the next Atlantis Lost Belt. So this is your way to kind of catch up really quick, which I would take advantage of while you have half AP. Um, so yeah, one-fourth AP for all actual Arc 1. Arc 2 quests from Anastasia to Sen. And then just specifically for the new one, um, half AP off. And then also half AP QP cost down for Servants and Craft Essence Enhancements, which is very nice. Very helpful, especially if you've been holding on to a lot of QP and this is your chance to just kind of go crazy. So limited time master missions, clear Anastasia chapter 1, 10 quarts, 20 EXP. Clear Yigashirtra chapter 1, it is 20 sync quarts and 2 Corona foes of both kinds. This is the start dash campaign, only for new players, but if you're brand new this is basically an updated version of it. The Start Dash campaign has been updated with new rewards. Bonus on day 7 only. So, let's see. Yeah, this is if you're starting out. Man, you guys are so lucky. I did not have this. I always feel bad whenever they do this. <laughs> because every time I look at it, I go like, I didn't start with this. <laughs> you guys have no idea how much I struggled. <laughs> You'll never understand the struggles. It's very nice if you're a new player. So, get on that. Da Vinci's Workshop. They're adding Caldea's Dinner Time, which is... 1% bond levels and master XP, maximum break 5%. Very nice, very nice. Bond levels is always nice. And also, uh, Breed Graceful was added to the rare prism shot. 5% uh, and 50% on supports, so that is for Mystic Code EXP. Not the greatest, but if, if you want to have your boy Gorf sipping tea. Go ahead. Summon campaign. Here, so here's the reason most people would kind of be interested in this. This is Scotty in terms of the craft essence. Um, they're all pretty decent craft essences. I think this one's really good because it's a 50% starting NP and those are always very nice. 
The only thing that's kind of a problem with it is that it only gives star absorption and critical damage. It would have been a little bit better if it gave something like NP gain or something to Buster, Quick, or Arts. But hey, beggars can't be choosers if you badly need a 50% starting NP card. You could do worse. You could definitely do worse. Uh, Greatest Journey, which I think is an okay kind of four stars craft essence. I don't really use it because there are better ones, but if you want to kind of mess around with it, it also has very cute art. And Team Phoenix is a three. Very cute art. That's basically why you get these. But this is Scotty. She is currently the um, support caster for Quick. If you want to do anything with Quick, you want Scotty or you're basically not doing anything with Quick. She, She's currently the only reason you would run Quick. Um, you badly need her if you want her for a quick team. That being said, I, like I said previously, in six months' time, there will be Castoria, and Castoria is basically the best of Merlin and Scotty. Currently in the game, Scotty and Merlin are kind of like interchangeable. If you are more for three turn farming, then obviously Scotty is ten times better than Merlin. But for someone who cares more about pure raw damage and survivability and stuff like that, then Merlin's got your number. But if you want both in one unit, you want to wait for Castoria, which is coming in six months. She is arts focused and also Tamamo. She also works great with Tamamo. So if you have a Tamamo now who is the um, arts caster support, who is a very good um, supporter. The only problem is that she doesn't give any, like, this is the thing that kind of makes you good for um, supporting is this charges one analyst MP gauge. 30% at level 1 and 50% at level 10. That's what <laughs> She helps a lot, especially for some quick units who... Um, I don't know why they do this to specifically quick, but a lot of quick um, units need a lot of hits in their um, NP, or a buttload of NP gain, because for some reason NP gain is lower on quick cards than it is arts cards. That's why arts cards can get like 100% with like three hits, but quick can't. <laughs> Quick has a real big trouble with that, so the more hits you have on a starting NP, the easier it is to kind of loop and do all that stuff, and also the more enemies you hit and stuff like that. But yeah, um, Scotty herself, I really do like her. I think the only negative I have about her is this Noble Phantasm. I think it's not very good and could actually be used for a buff. I think this should be Grant's Party Evasion for one turn and she'll be perfectly fine. With that, it's, I think, perfectly balanced. I don't know why they only gave it for one attack for three turns. I think it's very dumb that they did that, but okay. Um, other than that, obviously, the 50% to quick, and crit damage runs very well with quick. This skill, while not the greatest in the world, is actually very nice, especially with the 30 at level 10 with the 30% to defense and stuff. Um, and Scotty herself is a really cool-looking unit. Who doesn't love, look at her, gorgeous, gorgeous woman in every single Ascension she's ever had. So I definitely think she is worth owning. Um, if you're someone who's like super frugal, then I, I'm just gonna have to say the truth, which is that Castoria is everything that Merlin and Scotty do put into one. And she can also be technically used with quick units, which is really silly. Um, because she gives NP gain, and a lot of quick units actually could use quick um, NP gain, so in some cases you could totally run them together and you could make your own funky team. It's a lot of... <sighs> that unit's something else, let me tell you. But yeah, I think she's still definitely worth owning. I think some people will probably be a little bit down on her, but I think it's mostly fatigue from running quick and knowing the fact that Castori is coming. If we didn't know Castori was coming, then this is a no-brainer, Selman. <laughs> One of the best support units in the entire game, and it's uh, Skahawk Scotty. Who doesn't want that? Come on. But yeah, that's basically what I feel about this. So I think that is the end of today's video, everyone. If you're summoning for Scotty, I wish you the best of luck. I have been using her since I got her for the anniversary, and I've loved every second of it. I think she's a fantastic unit. I love using her. I love doing all that other good stuff with her. Um, that makes it seem weird, but <laughs> it's not in a weird way. Uh, I wish you all the best, and I wish you all the best of luck if you do it. So yeah, till next time everyone, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.